Hayes. He's done this before. Bang! He's a beauty, Lenny is. Arched his back and bent to home. All right, welcome back, Saints fans. Uh, week two, lunch with Lenny. Uh, we've just eaten lunch uh, out in the kitchenette with the boys, and uh, I've just got Sam Gilbert here. We're just going to ask the boys today um, what their signature dish is. If they had a hot date or if they had a family member coming around for dinner, what they'd cook. So, Sam Gilbert. I'm a bit more of a takeaway man, but uh, my signature dish would be. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to start again on that. <laughs> Sam, what's your signature dish? Uh, it would have to be a chicken pasta. Um, not for a game would be uh, what I cook. Pretty, uh, pretty simple, mate. Nothing too extravagant there. Very simple person. <laughs> Ooh, um, it's a tough one, Lenny. Uh, maybe spaghetti bolognese, because that's about the only thing I know how to cook. Uh, Ron Weasley. Um, I thought you were meant to be the Harry Potter premiere tonight, mate. Yeah, no, good, good sledge, Lenny. Good sledge. Eat slugs. Yeah. Um, we're talking. You haven't heard that. We're talking signature dishes, mate. So if you had to cook something, um, you'd probably get your mum to cook it. Is that right? Yeah, I think I'm still the only one living at home, so. Um, no, I don't know about that. I think I like to uh, cook a little bit, you know, a little bit of toast or cereal. Cere <laughs> toast, is that all you got? So you'd back yourself in, you had a hot date and you'd cook her toast. <laughs> That's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> that is, <laughs> you'd have a date. That's the joke. <laughs> Lamb shanks in the slow cooker. I do, and then with a bit of a mashed potato, a bit of rosemary on top. Wow. I'm starting to get hungry just uh, hearing you talking about that. That's morning. very impressive. Good morning, get them out. Lamb shanks, beautiful. I do a, uh, speaking of Greek heritage, I do a, um, a Greek Mediterranean chicken dish with a bit of tomatoes, so it's not bad, yeah. Yeah, it sounds, yeah. It sounds, it sounds very interesting. Is yeah. there a chance that uh, there'd be a special young lady that you'd cook this for on a uh, frequent basis? Yeah, there's just one at the moment, so her name's Carly, and uh, yeah, she's my girlfriend, so... Oh, that's, that's, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Well done, Paul. Thank you, cheers. <laughs> it'd probably, it'd have to be a stir-fry. But the key to the stir fry would be cashews. I've got to have cashews in Cashews. There. Yeah. I was going to say, when I heard stir fry, I was going to say, that's just boring. But <laughs> you've thrown in the cashews. That okay. might have saved you. I keep things pretty simple. <laughs> no, my signature dish I normally cook up for Robbie Eddie at home, um, since I live with him. It's cute. Um, yeah, I know. We sort of, you know, set it out, you know, a few candles, you know, to lighten the mood a bit. Um, but my signature dish is more of a uh, honey mustard chicken. Uh, with some mashed potato and some and some greens. Yeah. The desserts where I come into my own. Um, I've probably stolen this from uh, Velados, but I I cook up a pancake. Um, I get some strawberries. I roll the strawberries in the pancake. Um, a bit of uh, strawberry topping and ice cream. Um, yeah, really beautiful. Really tops it off. Yeah, oh, no, oh, no, no doubting that, Sam. Well done. I can't top that. Sam Fisher is winning, hands yeah. down. Oh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll probably stick to the pastas, mate. And my favourite one would be the lasagna. Lasagna, very nice. What about dessert? We just spoke to Sam Fisher, had something pretty special. What about yourself? Yeah, ice cream and chocolate topping, can't go wrong. Can't just go standing wrong. here with the captain, Nick Rewalt, um, who does back himself in as being a bit of a master chef. So, six signature dish, Ru. Um, what is yours? Uh, probably anything involving seafood, Lenny. I've uh, taken you down to Tassie before and uh, Lenny was a hunter and gatherer. He got down and got some crayfish and some abalone and I uh, whipped it up on the barbie, got the abalone, tenderised it, gave it a bash, chopped it up nice and fine, really hot plate, bit of oil, bit of butter, bit of garlic depending on uh, on what takes your fancy. Yeah, not too much, not, not too, too much. much. a little bit, Lenny, yeah. you've got to go home and kiss your fiance. So That's true, yes. I wanted you to be able to do that and uh, yeah, just cooked it nice and tender, so I'd say um, freshly caught abalone. On the barbecue. That's pretty hard to top. That's why there's a skipper. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Lenny. Good on you, mate. Good to see you. Yeah, go Saints. Yeah. Okay, Saints fans. Uh, week two of lunch with Lenny. Um, you know, we're talking sig signature dishes uh, with the boys. There's some really interesting ones there, and you just got a bit of an insight into what they'd cook for a, either a hot date or a, a family member coming around. So I hope you enjoyed that. He's, he's done this before. Bang! He's a beauty, Lenny is. Arched his back. 